All right, one of my popular videos on YouTube is creating a draggable HTML element using JavaScript. But uh, there I have just only created one draggable element. But some of you guys asked me if it's possible to create multiple draggable elements Draggable HTML element using JavaScript. Yes, it's possible and here I have done it and as you see here I have four elements, but you could even have more than this and you see that these elements are fully draggable and I can move it to wherever I want and it's fully possible. So let's create a doubt But before we start writing codes, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this one here I am I have and I have already created a folder called draggable to just save your valuable time. And inside this, I'm just gonna create an index.html file. So I'm gonna say index.html. And inside this, I'm just gonna type HTML and this is going to generate this template for me. So I'm just gonna set its uh, title to uh, draggable. And after that here in the body, I'm gonna come and create a container. So I'm just gonna say container. And inside this container, I'm gonna create an element. And inside this element, I need, I'm, I'm gonna copy this element because uh, it takes me too much time really to type the element. So I'm gonna do an inline style, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say a style, and I said this, we're just gonna give it a background. So I'm gonna say background, and its background is going to be read, red. And now I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna change its color, so I'm gonna say yellow, and after that, this one is going to be something like green, just some random color to make it to differentiate between the elements and this one is going to be blue now if i save it and go to the browser you will see that nothing is now visible in the browser because we didn't give it a width and a height so i'm going to come here and select the container so i'm just going to say container and inside this container uh, before doing that we have to open up the style tag so i'm going to say style and access the container so i'm going to say container uh, container and inside this container we're just going to set its display to flex and justify content to flex the start so i'm going to say flex the start and after that here i'm going to access the container again and from the uh, container we're going to access the element and inside this element we're going to give it a width of 100 pixel and also a height of 100 pixel too so after that here i'm going to around it to do so we're going to use the border radius and uh, radius and we're going to assign it to 50 percentage and we're going to give it a little margin so i'm going to say margin and this is going to be five pixels from all the sides now you'll see that our elements are looking like this and now we're going to do magic using javascript so i'm going to come here and set this i'm going to open up our a script tag because we want to type a script so i'm going to say a script and inside this i'm going to create a variable called a choose element so uh i i create this element because we want to have access to each individual element and assign it to this variable and after that i'm going to create a, vari uh, a function so i'm going to call this function as move and assign it to a function and this function is going to take a parameter which is element and inside this function what i'm going to do is to create another variable and call it elements plural and i access each and which will element in, in, in html so i'm going to say document dot query selector all and assign it to uh, take all the inside its argument we access all the elements that we do have here now i'm gonna loop through over all these elements i'm just gonna say elements dot for each and as you know the for each is going, is going to take a callback function so this callback function also have a parameter and inside this uh, uh, uh inside this for each we're gonna use an arrow function so inside this what I'm gonna do is to add an even listener to each individual element so I'm just uh, just gonna say element dot add even listener so inside this even listener what we are going to do is to listen to a mouse down event and in this we again have to call a callback function which is going to be an arrow function and after that here what I'm gonna do is to I set each individual element position to absolute so I'm just going to access the uh, element and set uh, access the s cell and from the s cell access its position and assign it to absolute so after that if you don't pass its position to absolute you can't move it to anywhere so after that here I'm going to uh, select the choose element which is this variable and assign the each individual variable uh, element to this variable so 
And, and now I'm going to access the document. So I'm going to say document, document. And what we want to do with our document, whenever we mouse move on the document, what I'm going to do is to call a call a, a function on it, which is going to be an arrow function. And it's going to take the event argument. And inside this, what we are going to do is to take the position of the cursor. So I'm going to say x.e.page uh, event dot uh, page x. This is going to take and the position, uh, x position of the cursor, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to uh, change it to y, and we're going to get the, sorry, we're going to get the position of, y position of the cursor. So after that, here I'm going to come, and what I'm going to do is to position the element according to this position that we got using the page x. So I'm just going to say choose choose element and uh, access the style property from it. And we have access to the left property because we set its position to absolute. So now here, what I'm gonna do is to set, uh, assign this uh, variable to this, uh, uh, to the left uh, uh, sides of, to the left property of uh, each individual element. And we have to concatenate it with px uh, or pixel else it's not going to work for us. So I'm just going to change it to y and uh, set it a top position. So I'm just going to say top. And uh, that's all with a JavaScript. And we need to call this uh, function to somewhere. I'm going to call it on the, uh, on the onload of the body. So I'm going to say onload. And we're going to call that function. And that function name is move. But inside itself, it has an argument, which is an element. I'm just going to pass the element and close it up. Now I'm going to go here and show you what's really going on. But before that, I'm going to come here and console.log the uh, choose element. So I'm going to say choose element to see what's really going on. I'm going to open up the NSPEC and go to the console. And inside the console, if I click on each individual element, you see that it gets hang with our mouse. So, and uh, you notice that our mouse is a few upper than our element. So I'm going to come here and inside uh, this, I'm just going to minus it uh, 50 and concatenate uh, 50 actually and concatenate it or concatenate px with it or pixel. So I'm just going to do for the y direction too. And now if I go here and select one of this element, you see that it gets in the center. But even I released my cursor here, I released my cursor here, but it still it hangs my with my mouse. To fix it, I'm going to come here and out of this, here, I'm just going to access the document. So I'm going to say document. And from the document, whenever we uh, put, uh, release the mouse, so to release the mouse, it's called on mouse app. And inside this, again, I'm going to call uh, assign a function to it. And this function is going to take an event. And inside this event, we're just going to uh, select the choose element, which is this variable at the top here. And I'm going to just assign it to null. So I'm just going to assign it to null. Now if I save it and go to the browser and refresh it, and I'm going to click uh, one of these elements. So I'm just going to drag it to anywhere I want and release it. And here it hangs. And now I can select another element. So this was from our tutorial. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and understand something and learn something from me. And you can use it to the project that you want to use. So, and uh, take care of yourself. This was from our project.